Hey, so I want to talk about a question that I see a lot of. A lot of times I see moms doing their level best to, to pay dad in the best of light, even when there has been abuse. Now I'm not saying you should go and trash talk the other spouse, that's not what I'm talking about. But the question is, when you are deciding whether or not to leave a relationship that is dangerous to you, can dad abuse mom and still be a wonderful father? Now, are there situations where you have two people who are just, I don't know, badly matched, they, they just draw the worst at each other and maybe they're pretty decent humans outside of this particular relationship. Yes, that's possible. Can you have people who are um, really amazing individuals and they've made mistakes? Yes, you can. But let's talk about what good dads do. Now, I would say the same applies to good moms. So if you're in a reverse situation, then yes, the same actions would apply to good moms. Um, but I primarily speak to, to moms. So we're talking about dads. Good dads do these things. Good dads create a safe environment at home where the household doesn't live in fear and dread of them driving up into the garage and walking in the door. Good dads model protection and not aggressiveness, not exploitation of others. They use their power to keep people safe and to protect and to empower others to be their own person. Good dads put their family's needs and their children's needs first instead of doing whatever makes them happy and maybe spending tons of money on their own toys and making sure the kids don't have school uniforms or aren't getting what they need. Good dads put their families first, even if they're split up. Yeah. Good dads model supportive partnership to mom. Good dads model supportive partnership to mom. They share equally in the load of mental planning, emotional work on the relationship, household work as needed. They're equal parents. Good dads are not babysitters. They're parents and they are there shoulder to shoulder with mom in the parenting trenches. Good dads adult. Let's be, let's just be really basic. Good dads adult. They don't live like additional children who add to mom's exhaustion, mom's duties, mom's responsibilities, mom's need to pick up after everything. Good dads don't live like their wife is their mom. They're adults. Good dads take responsibility for their feelings, their actions, and they don't blame mom, they don't blame the kids or the outside world for choices they have made. Good dads aren't perfect, but they're humble enough to say sorry and make it right when they've screwed up. We're not talking about angelic here, we're not talking about being saints, we're talking about being real and being decent humans. Good dads get help for their own dysfunctions. Good dads don't blame things that they don't know how to do well on, well, that's just how I am because nobody ever taught me or because I wasn't given those tools. Good dads realize I'm going to break the next generation. I'm gonna ruin my wife, my life, my ruin my family, ruin my marriage if I don't get help. And then they're willing to humbly go and get good help back to that adulting thing. Good dads recognize that addiction 
creates danger for children, whether this is alcoholism, whether this is cocaine addiction or drug addiction or prescriptions or work addiction that leaves children feeling abandoned or addiction to porn, sexual acting out, secret double life. Good dads realize that living out of balance and relying on substances or other issues like sexuality to, to just for their own satisfaction, relying on the exploitation of others for their own satisfaction is harmful to their kids because it makes them into an exploiter of the vulnerable at their core. Good dads, just extending that, good dads don't choose to be entertained by things that are exploitative and abusive to women and children. Not jokes, not movies, not porn, not the sex industry. Good dads don't live a lie and keep a secret double life that if it came out would shatter their wife and their kids. Good dads don't force their spouses to have sex. Good dads don't rape moms. Not even inside a marriage. It's appalling that I even have to say that. But there are so many women that I see and talk to so often that do not realize that forced sex inside marriage is rape. Good dads don't rape moms. Good dads don't abuse mom and make the kids live in fear and then say, but I'm a great dad. So if he's doing any of these things, you can't say he's just a bad husband, but he's not, but he's a great dad. Being an abusive husband, being an exploitative consumer of sexual abuse material means not being a good dad. It means you are living out abusive habits and exploitative habits that your children will either mimic or discover or find someone who will treat them the same. So if he's doing these things, he's not a good dad. He may not be overtly abusing the kids yet, but if he's abusing you, then he's abusing your children's mother, and no one who abuses your children's mother is a good parent. Good dads are trustworthy. They're safe, they're humble, they're honest, humans. They are not perfect. They are not meant to be put up on a pedestal. They are not afraid to make mistakes and to fail and to screw up and to try again. But they're safe. And good dads are honest. Good dads don't make moms scared.